Hello and welcome everyone. In the previous video we learned about how to create the M menu and in this video we're going to learn about how to add a custom logo and social icons. Okay, so what we're going to do is if you take a look this is the query that we had written in the previous videos if you've been following along and we had the header menu, the footer menu, etc. We also had the menu fragment, right? And we were getting all of the menu items. What we want is that we also want to have the logo over here. So how do I get that? So what I'm going to do is I'll put the alias as header and then get header and inside of this see what's available. So We've activated a plugin called Headless CMS and that adds this extra features which is not available by default in WP GraphQL. So it goes ahead and extends that. So we have these available. So we have favicon, site logo URL, site tagline and site title. Okay, so that's what we've got here. Now for the footer, let's say footer again, we'll say get footer and see what we have available. Copyright text, sidebar one, sidebar two social links, icon name, icon URL. Okay, so and if you go to customize in the site identity you can write next year's headless WordPress site tagline and you can also put an icon if you want to drop an icon here which will be favicon crop it so I've got the favicon here and then I'm also going to go ahead and put a site logo so let's say this one like so expand it okay so we've got the site logo hit publish what else is there so now if I hit it you can see that we've got favicon we've got site logo URL site tagline site title all of that is coming from WordPress and that's dynamic which is great what we also want is for the footer right so for the footer I have already created some sidebar so if you go to widgets you can see that I've created this HCMS footer 1 categories meta and then you've got footer 2 as well uh, but I've got not put anything so this widget is registered again by the headless CMS plugin if you want to use it use it I mean I'm just putting the data here uh, it's up to you if you want to go ahead and use it I may not be using all of this data but if you did want to use it you could do that okay so that's for the sidebar and then you also need social links so again that plugin also allows you to add some social links so again if you go to customize and if you go to social links this is where you can put your social links so I can put mine here so I'll say so I'll put the Cori tech over here and then I'll put the Twitter so Twitter slash Cori tech So we've got all of that and now if I check I'm going to hide the explorer and if you hit it if you scroll down you can see that you've got the sidebar uh, you don't have the copyright text so let's add that as well so we have an option in the footer to add the copyright text as well I'm going to put Corite Academy 2020 as my copyright text and now if I fetch it again you scroll down under the footer you can see you've got a copyright text right Code Day Academy and if you scroll down uh, you see the social links Facebook Twitter Instagram and YouTube and their links as well so I can easily use them in my query so all I have to do now is just copy this and paste it uh, into my existing query so what I'll do is I'll paste it over here this will go or I might as well just paste the whole thing. It'll be better if I do that. So let's copy this and copy the whole thing, paste it here. Okay, perfect. Now, because we will be using this header, header menus, footer menus, all of these, uh, all of this stuff on all the pages, we we're going to require the header, footer, menu, uh, 
and the navigation menus on all of the pages, it is better to take it inside of a variable. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut from this point and I'm going to create a constant and I'll call it as header footer equals and then I'm going to, going to use backtick and then I'm just going to paste this query. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll just copy this constant and I'm just going to use the dollar sign to inject it like so. Okay, so this way we've got our header and footer like so and then I can just wherever I want to use this menu I can just use this header and footer, right? And also I'll have to use the menu fragment there. Okay, so now if you go back to the index.js, we also need to pull the header. So data dot header. And if it's not available, it should be just empty. Okay, same way goes for footer as well. Footer. Again, this can be empty. All right. And for this one as well. Okay, and what we're also going to do is we're going to put this only if the data is available. Okay, so we're going to say actually we should pull this on top because it's not actually the menus, the, these are just header and footer information. So I'm going to put that like so. Okay, awesome. Now we should be able to pull that information into our components and let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to our index.js and this is where we can get that information. Uh, so inside of the layout, I can pass the header menus like so and I can also pass the header like so. And this will be data dot header. Okay, and similarly for the footer as well, I can do that. So, I'm going to create a component. Okay, so inside of the footer directory, I'm going to create a file called index.js and say const footer equals for now, we'll just return footer and we'll come back to that. Export default footer. Okay. Awesome. And then I'm just going to pass the information to the footer as well. So footer and this will be footer equals data dot footer and then footer menus equals data menus dot menus dot footer menus okay and inside of the footer okay before that we have to import it import footer from footer and just say that if okay we need to pull the footer and footer menus So if it's empty, then return. I think we'll be okay if the footer is empty, but the footer menus should not be empty. So import. Is empty from Lodash. And if this is empty then just return null okay so we'll come back to that later but I just want to show you that we do have all of the data that's available and I'm just going to put that there let's go back and if I refresh take a look so you can see that you've got the so you've got the copyright text You've got the sidebar information, sidebar two, social links. Yep, this is great. And also you've got the 
header information available, which is all of this, right? Which is brilliant. So all I'm going to do now is I will just replace all of the information uh, for this. So we of course don't need the site logo URL right now, but what I, what I do need is the site tagline and the site title. Okay. So I will go to I will go to the header. And inside header we have the nav and nav is passing the header menus so of course we have to pass the header as well so I'm gonna say header okay I'm gonna pass that here header and then inside of nav I'll get the header over here and using the header I can then update Okay, we can update this name. So what is it? It's a header dot site title, yeah. Header dot site title. Let's see. See, it changed. Awesome. Great. We also need to up update the um site logo URL. So what we're gonna do is we'll use an image tag. So I'll get rid of this. Use an image tag. And then we are going to actually uh, just put the URL here. So it'll be header dot site logo URL. Yep, there you go. And also I'm going to go ahead and give it a width and a height. So width maybe, let's try 74, how does that look like? A little bit big, so 48, let's see now. Yeah, this looks much better. And leave the height as it is, don't worry about the height. Or we can give it a height, it's fine. I think maybe make it 48. Yep, good. And we give it a class name, and we want to give a margin, a right of Four. Yep, great, awesome. And then we also need to put the favic on and all, which we will come back to later, but we also need to put the site tagline. So let's put the site tagline. So I'm gonna say span. Header. Site tagline. Okay, there you go. We've got the head, uh, site tagline. So we've got the site tagline as well. And we may want to go ahead and make sure that these are wrapped inside of a div. And then give this a flex. So class name flex. So it'll be flex column and then items center. There you go. Okay, and and also we can do it flex start, justify start. This would be items start. Let's take a look. Okay, perfect. So this is what we want. So we've got the site title, we've got the site tagline, we've got the logo as well. Yeah, which is great. All right, brilliant. Okay, in the next video we'll continue further, and we are going to add the favicon, etc., and then also add the footer. Okay. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And uh, do give star to my repository. My repository name is Next.js Headless WordPress. And thanks to all the lovely people who have already started my repository. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.